and welcome back to my channel today i have something really short a quick one for you Tada! yep it's plantain i have plantain here for you it's black but there's nothing wrong with it if you receive your plantain and it's this black but firm with some mold around it it doesn't mean it's gone bad all you need to do is wash it under the top and then cut it open cut it into any shapes you want and use it for your recipe or you store it in the deep freezer that's exactly what i do when i have them in excess and i don't want to use everything so um wouldn't waste much time let's go and see how to make use of this the first recipe is kelly willy kelly willy the gh style the gh way yes and these are the ingredients you need all you actually need is pepper preferably the cayenne pepper lots of ginger some garlic it's gonna be optional it depends on you um some onions cloves um and grains of slime but that's actually optional it depends on you these are the basic ones i use and you can add any local spice to add taste or flavor to it as you want you blend these up and then you mix it with your chopped plantain and it should look like this just as you see it on the screen don't forget to add some salt to taste yeah i did mention that but you have to add that now when your oil is hot like burning hot you add in your mixture you add it in chunks like this and then um, you allow it to fry a bit and then you stir it to separate it because it has to come out individually like it shouldn't be that sticky when it comes out unless it's overly overly ripe so it should turn out like this when you stir and you have to keep stirring so it doesn't burn See, I left this for some few seconds and before I knew it, it was getting burnt. Well, this isn't burnt, okay? But I'm just trying to make a point here. You don't leave it for too long without stirring. It needs to be stirred every now and then to give it a yummy taste. So, um, if everything goes right with the right temperature, that's medium to high, it should turn out like this. And this is how your Kelly really should look. The next one is actually plantain pancakes yes and these are the ingredients you need you need some flour milk melted butter some pepper and onion salt water a little sugar and some eggs i got to make this you start off by peeling the plantain as usual cut it into chunks to aid in the blending process dump it into your blender and then blend it into a very smooth nice Okay. Next, you actually have to add in all the other ingredients except the flour. So you add in your onions, your pepper, your butter, your eggs, and some of the milk. And then you keep blending. You blend it again so it makes well to form a nice paste consistency. You pour it out and then what you do next is add your flour and some salt and sugar to taste. Okay. When you make this butter and it's too thick, you just add in a little more of the milk and then there you have it. It will be good to go once this mixture is done and ready you grease your pan and then you put it over very low heat you can actually um, fry this or kind of bake it so after you've greased your pan you spread a little quantity of it over it and allow it to sit for some time over the low heat then you flip it over and let it also sit for some time and your pancake is ready so with just a little butter, this is how it turns out. I actually like to use very less butter or oil when doing this. And it turns out so yummy, delicious. Like you would really love it. You should try this if you ever have overripe plantains back home. It's just like a rendition of um, pancakes. 
at this time around with something for my side. So let's say this is the African pancake made from plantain and every other thing you need for pancake. So that's how it turns out. Now let's go to recipe number three, fried plantains. <laughs> for this recipe, I don't think I need to say much because everyone knows how to do this. It's so simple and easy. All you need is to cut your plantain into any shapes of your choice you salt it and then you dip it into hot frying oil just like i'm doing and make sure you keep turning it so it doesn't burn once it turns golden brown like this then your fried plantains are ready to be mug up eating yes so that's how we do it and it's served with boiled beans with palm oil and gari gari yes they call it red 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 that's how we call it you can just eat it as a snack with nothing yeah this looks like kiliwili but it actually isn't kiliwili it's just fried overripe plantain i cut them into tiny bits that's how so we fry it to look this yummy and then you serve it with your beans or um, pepper yeah just grind some pepper and onions and salt you can enjoy it anyhow you want it just depends on you but this is how it's popularly consumed the next one is actually like kaklo but it's not kaklo it's my own style of doing it i just used some pepper ginger the overripe plantain some cloves like grains of saline and some onions i blend everything together to make a paste like this and then i fry it now this um, over fries really fast so you have to keep an eye on it and turn it after you dip it in just a few seconds after you dip it in you know it won't get burned and you should use deep frying i think i did a shallow frying but it turned out good but i think if i had done a deep fry it would have turned out better so you strain the excess oil out of it and you serve it with peanuts <laughs> yeah it's just a simple one you can take it with peanuts and any soft drink to go